Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. Oh, I'm so excited to share with you what I found this week. So a lot of you probably already know and have seen the sneak peek that I showed in my Day of the Life video a couple days back um, about the fun things that I found this week. But if you, in case you missed that, I will share that with you today, of course. So my daughter, Joe, and I went to one thrift store. We went to Goodwill. And it was tag, they'll say, day. And I think the tag that was on sale was green or something like that. Yeah, it was green. Didn't find a whole lot with the green tags, but some of the things I did were awesome. And some of the things without the green tag were awesome. So I am so excited. We did some major damage and spent like $60, which is unheard of for me at the thrift store but with joe there and she kept finding a whole bunch of stuff that she loved and i was there and i kept finding a whole bunch of stuff i loved so it just kind of got a little out of control but that's okay we're at the thrift store and we got some major deals and i'm so excited so let's go ahead and jump right into this week's finds so the first thing to share with you today is a picture frame now i'm trying to be a good mom and like start putting out pictures of my children like around my house which i am so terrible at i never i mean they come home from school i look at them we talk about them like oh this is such a good picture and then the envelope with all the pictures gets stored away and never to see the light of day again so i'm like you know what i need to get some pretty frames and i can at least you know put them up and downstairs in the family room or something like that so I'm not a terrible, horrible mother because I don't have photos of my children on the walls. So with that being said, I picked up this little um, frame right here. It has a, a small size picture frame opening, which I think is very fun because I like to use those little little teeny tiny pictures. I think they're so fun. So I like the wallet size. And this was $1.99 and it is so totally me. It's got a little scalloped edge little detailing, the white background with the black distressing on it, and I was like, oh, I have to get this picture frame. So this will, it does have a stand on the back, so it can stand, um, you know, on a table or on a shelf or something like that. So I just thought this was super cute, and of course I had to pick it up. So now I'm thinking I'll probably put the same kid in it, like two different years or something like that. I'm not really sure. It would have been awesome if it would have had three openings because then I could have put one whole year of all three of the girls. That would have been fun. So anyways, I need to look for some more picture frames like that because I like them when they're like that concise and I can put, you know, multiple photos in one frame without having to take up a whole lot of space. So I like that. So, yeah. All right. So then the next thing I have to share with you is a little grab bag, which caught my eye. Um... It is this right here. It was $1.99 and it has two little silver figurines in it. The first one was is not, you know, something that I would normally typically pick out. But I'm thinking maybe my mom will want it. It is this little guy right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see him very well. He's a little bear. And he's got a little fish trapped here. And he's just a little cutesy little guy. So I thought he was cute. I'll uh, see. Actually, I should ask Jasmine first because she does love her animal figures. So I'll see if she wants the little bear. If not, I may pass it on to my mom to use at the cabin. But the second one is what I got it for. And it is this adorable... I don't know how I'm going to show you this. It's an adorable little dog. It's like a little dachshund. A little wiener dog. And he's like laying on his back. He's got his little legs up in his air, up in the air. He is just so adorable. I thought this would be really cute to go like on top of a book or something. Like maybe you have a book with a clock and then this little guy in front of it. So I thought that was really super adorable. He makes me smile. And I do have like a little dog figure collection. Don't have anything in silver like this. But I think he's adorable. So I picked him up. And I can't even wait to use him. <laughs> and then, let's see. So the next thing I picked up was 99 cents. And it is this little milk glass votive. Very cute. It's got a lot of detailing on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Got this little scalloped top. And I thought it was adorable. So I picked it up. The next thing 
I picked up, and I haven't found anything like this in a while. It's a little shot glass to go with my vintage bar set that I'm kind of putting together. And I just love the colors. I have no idea. It's like, it's got like this, what do you call it, stripes of frosted. And then the tips are like orange and red, which I think is very cool. And then it's got this really cool red square with like this bird in the middle of it with a crown on it and it says Polashka Polashka it probably should mean something to me but it doesn't I just thought it was super cute and adorable I wish they would have had more of them but they only had the one and it was only 49 cents so I picked that up I mean come on it's in red and it's so adorable so I just thought it was super duper cute and I thought that would be a useful thing when I'm like mixing up drinks so thought that was cute and I'm so happy to have got that. All right, so the next thing I picked up was another goodie bag. And this one's just kind of like a mod podge of like cake decorating and cookie cutters and that sort of thing. And it was $2.99. And what I bought it for was this little guy right here. It is like a metal cake decorating tube thing, if that makes sense. This guy right here. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So I was like, oh my goodness, I want that. Because I thought this would be really cool to like sit in my kitchen shelf or something um, to decorate with. Ooh, the pull out, it makes a little noise there. But anyways, I just thought this was super cool. It does have a few attachments that go on the end. And then from there, it's just a mod podge of a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of repeat things for me, like there's a gingerbread cookie. Actually, I think I'll probably keep this one because this one's a pretty large one and I love the handle. So there was that one. And then I really loved this one also. A yellow biscuit cutter, or donut cutter with a, not a yellow. Oh my goodness. I don't know my colors today. A green handle on it. Right there. And that's the donut maker. Loved that one. And then, what was the other one? No, that's the only one I don't have. Oh, this one I don't have. This one is new to me. The holly leaf. Like the old time. You know, I've got the angel, the reindeer, the Christmas, or the Santa, the bell, in this type. You know, I've been around probably since the 70s. Yeah, but I don't have this one. So that one I will keep as well. The rest of them, it does have a reindeer. And it has, the, oh, the angel. And the Santa as well. Ugh. And those maybe, I think I might try to like do some sort of Christmas ornament with those. And the rest of the bag is just like, um, the bags for decorating, like frosting things up. So, which I will add to my collection. I have a few of those as well. So, I just thought it was really cool just for this piece right here. I thought that was so cool. I've never seen a metal one like this before and I just had to have it. It does say cake decorator on the top. That's the only markings on it. So I have no idea. I have to do a little research. I have no idea how old this sucker is. But, you know, I'm thinking it's probably from the 60s, 70s. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to figure it out. Oh, and then there is this little box right here. And this is filled with those little cookie press um, shapes like this. There's a whole stack of them. This whole box is filled with them. So there's got to be like 25, 30 of them in there. Maybe not 30, maybe 25. But anyways, so those are all filled with those little things. So yeah, I thought that was a fun little, fun little thing to pick up. All right, so next up is a few stacks <laughs> of dishes that I found. And I am so very excited about them. I have been trying lately not to bring home as many dishes because... I feel as if my dish collection is getting out of control, but I found a few things that would work perfectly, so of course I had to get them. So the first things I picked up was a four count of these plates right here. They were $1.99 each, but they were the green tag, so that was 75% off. So I don't know what that works out to be, but it works out to be like less than a dollar a plate which is awesome and I absolutely love this pattern. So I don't have anything this pattern in my collection right now, but I do have things that are similar in color to this teal color here 
And then it's got a little bit of pink in there as well as like a dark gray. Like this, the stems aren't really green. They're like a dark gray. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And this plate size is like, you know, like a dinner, like a salad plate size, which I think is so cool. I do not know who makes these. These are not marked at all, but I want to say they're like Homer Lachlan or something like that. So I don't know how you figure out if something actually is Homer Lachlan for these types of plates. I don't know. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I should look it up a little, do a little research. But I did not have time to do that today. But anyways, so I picked up four of these at a fantastic price and I couldn't be happier. I think these will be fun to lay on top of like a swirl edge or some sort of white plate that's got a really pretty edge that would stick out along the outside. I think that would be really gorgeous with this fun, bright colors on it. I think that would look so pretty. So I loved those. And they only had four, but of course I picked them all up. <laughs> so you all know how much I love my Syracuse China. Well, this week I found a gorgeous stack of bowls in a white, plain white color. I was in heaven. I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. Oh, let me put those down. Those are heavy. All right, so they were, there's six of them. And they were $1.99 each. And they were green tagged, so that means they were 75% off. So that is an awesome deal. They are very shallow, which I think is cool. And they have this nice big rim on them, which I think is lovely. So I am using going to use these as stackers on top of a white plate or a colored plate, something like that. I think these will be perfect for like a little side salad or maybe possibly soup, that sort of thing. So yeah, I am super excited about these. And yeah, I'm just so excited. And they are in really good condition. They need to be cleaned up. They kind of got like a, a little haze on them, but there is none of them have any chips or anything like that. On the back, it says made in the USA product of the Syracuse China Company since 1871. And then it's got 25-8-1, which is on the little logo. So I'm not sure what those numbers mean, but a plain white restaurant wear bowl. <sighs> For less than a dollar and I picked up six and I'm so excited so yeah so those will be like put away and only brought out at like special occasions they're not gonna be an everyday sort of bowl for me because one first of all I don't have enough room up there although I do could use some more bowls but I don't want to use the space up because they're so wide up there because those are our everyday dishes right up in here so I'll have to find some more bowls that are not so wide-lipped. So those will be the special ones. So I'm very excited about that. All right, so I found one more dish item to share with you. And this one I'm absolutely in love with. It was $4.99. And it is this pie plate with this gorgeous Christmas display on it. I think it is so pretty. I absolutely love the print on it. And then I uh, love the red edging. I think that is so cool. They actually had two of these, but I decided I can only take one of them home. And the other one had a different, it was like um, horses, I think it was like sleighs and like a house in the distance. I like this one better. This is actually made by the Watkins Company. It has a recipe on the back. It says Watkins at the top and then a recipe for Cranella, Cranella, Cranella pecan pie so it's got like I don't know anyways that sounds kind of tasty and then at the bottom it says 1999 the Watkins Watkins Incorporated so yeah so this was $4.99 I don't remember if I said that or not but I just think it is so cool cannot wait to use it at Christmas time I think it'll look adorable it's kind of propped up maybe on sort of propped up maybe my little teacups in front of it or something like that I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use it but I think it's adorable so I picked that up. I did find a book as well. You guys know I've been looking for some chunky books lately. I found this one. Um, I think the books were $1.99 if I remember right. But this one is sort of interesting. It is Record Books, the Record Book and Boxing Encyclopedia. Not really into boxing, but it is pretty cool. Inside it's got tons of stats and then it has like pictures in it, stuff like that. And the pages are so glossy. It's so pretty. So anyways, 
I don't know when this was published. When was it published? So it's a 1970s ring boxing encyclopedia and record book. That's all it really says. So I'm assuming it was probably published in 1970. So anyways, I thought it was cool. Love the black cover on it. It's got a little bit of tearing here. So not crazy about the gold on the front of it, but I can use the back side for my decor. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Nice big chunky book. Um, I'm looking for a nice big chunky book that has like a cover that's completely almost all fallen off so that I can remove the cover. You know, you've seen, have you seen that where they've got the books that have no cover left and they have them kind of stacked on top of each other? Well, I don't want to do it to a book that's actually kind of nice looking still. So I'm looking for some really ragged looking books. So I can do something like that without feeling guilty about it. So <laughs> that is next on my list. But yeah, so that makes like four big chunky books that I think I found in the last month or so. So I am like on a roll, which is very cool because sometimes they're really hard to find. So anyways, I was very pleased with that book. I think it's a very cool book. So finally today I have the two large items that I picked up that are so amazing. So I will show those to you. Obviously I can't hold them up for you. So I will take my camera over to them and I will film that for you. And then I'll be right back. I found this mirror. It's by Ethan Allen for $4.99. I think it's going to work for my bathroom and it will get a makeover, but it's the perfect size. And then of course I found this desk for $8.99. I absolutely am in love with it. The roll top still works really well and it's got little drawers for me to fill up with fun stuff. So that is the end of my haul for today, but now it is time to share with you some of the fun finds from my viewers. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. First up we have this photo by Peggy Ann and she found this 19th century reverse painting with tinsel in it and it's in its original frame for $4.99. She also found this ironstone vase with pewter rings on it, this fluted bowl, and a French jar with a pewter lid, all of which were $5 each. Sandy put together this Halloween display. Um, she thrifted the little owl and the witch in the cauldron, which is super cute. She also found the thin black rick rack and the little boy off to the side that is a salt and pepper shaker. Myrna found this white pillow sham for $1.29, the dainty glasses with the flowers and bows for $0.99 cents each, and the milk glass for $4.99. She also found the snowman, which is adorable, for $3, the lamb for $0.99, cents, the placemat for $1.99, and the stocking, which is super adorable, for $2.99. And would you look at this? This is what she made with the stocking, which I think is fantastic. How adorable would this be like hung on your little kid's bedroom door or like even your front door inside like a wreath? Oh my goodness, fabulous idea. This next photo is by Rose and she found this vintage Disney mug for 50 pence. She also found this pillow for two pounds, the faux flowers for 97 pence, and the glass jar that the flowers are in for 10 pence. And finally, she found this metal jug for two pounds and the flowers inside of it for 97 pence. Sandra found this adorable teddy bear and behind it, there's a little flocked kitten, both of which are adorable. She also found this little polar bear and this beautifully colorful bird. She also found this vintage children's book, which has a great illustration. Look at those colors. Just so vibrant. Love it. And last but not least, Bonnie sent in this photo. She thrifted everything on this shelf except for the pumpkins. The wooden pedestal bowl in the middle she painted and distressed, and it's looking oh so very pretty. She also thrifted the two fall prints in this photo along with the empty frames which she painted and distressed and then finally she found the two glass jars which she has wheat from her own fields in and the whole display is very nice i love it and finally bonnie says she dusted off her sewing machine found a vintage sheet that she absolutely loved and made this pillowcase it looks like she might have used my tutorial as well 
And would you just look at the fabric? It is absolutely gorgeous and perfect for this time of year. It's, oh, so pretty. Once again, you guys found some amazing things. So thank you to everyone who sent in a photo. I really appreciate it. I love seeing what you guys find every week. And I'm sure everyone else does as well. So keep those photos coming. If you want to submit a photo for next Thrift Store Thursday, check out the description box. It'll have all the information you need on how to submit a photo. So, all right, so that is going to be it for me today. Thank you all for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to Thursdays so much because I love sharing what I found and I love getting feedback from you guys about what you found. And I just find the whole process very, very exciting. So I hope you guys find it as exciting as I do. <laughs> but anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below and let me know what you found or what you think of this video. And I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Bye now.